Governor Greg Abbott brought lawmakers to the state capitol today to deliver his state of the state address. Yeah, the governor laid out his slate of emergency items. KXAN's West Rappaport looks closer at what the governor wants to accomplish and the response he's getting from Democrats. I am proud to tell you that the state of Texas has never been better. In his state of the state speech, no surprise, Governor Greg Abbott highlighted school finance first. We must target education funding to help our students achieve in school. And property taxes, too. We can no longer sit idly by while property tax owners are being reduced to tenants of their own property, with taxing authorities playing the role of landlord. After Abbott's speech, House and Senate Democrats offered a rebuttal addressing some topics the governor mentioned and others he did not. He gave many rankings about the state of Texas and how we are prospering, but one of the rankings he did not discuss was that Texas ranks number one in uninsured Texans. Representative Chris Turner said education has also been a longtime priority of Democrats, but they have some concerns with the Republican-led property tax plan. We need to reduce pressure on property taxes statewide. It's unclear, though how uh, a 2.5% revenue cap is going to achieve that. Abbott also called on the state to pay for more border security. The federal government still has not fulfilled its responsibility. Something Democrats say needs to take a back seat to other issues. We need to fund our schools. We need to make sure teachers have pay raises. On and on and on. And then if we have some money left, then take care of the border issue. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. The governor listed six emergency items for lawmakers, property tax reform, school finance reform, and teacher pay raises, as well as school safety, mental health, and disaster response. For some comparison, the governor had four emergency items at his last State of the State address in 2017. Back then, the governor prioritized reforms to child protective services, a ban on sanctuary cities, ethics reform, and a call for a convention of states to amend the U.S. Constitution to rein in the power of the federal government.